Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on transformations. In this video, we'll be looking at rotations. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on transformations. First, we start with definition. Rotation is turning an object a certain number of degrees about a fixed point in a given direction. While describing a rotation of an object, the following are considered. 1. The center of rotation, that is the point about which the object turns. 2. The angle of turn, that is the number of degrees on which the object is going to be turned. And the third one is the direction of turn. Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? So we quickly demonstrate rotation using this uh, object, which is a triangle. First, we need the center of rotation. We choose this point, a center of rotation. Then the angle of turn. Make sure you have a line from the point or center of rotation to the diagram that will enable you get the angle of turn. Then we now talk of the direction, which is clockwise. So the object now move to form the image after rotation. So this is what we'll be doing in this video. And then we start with our first problem. Problem one. Rotate the shape in the graph through 90 degrees clockwise about the point 2 comma negative 2. Give the coordinates of the corners of the image. So we are going to rotate this and the center of rotation is 2 comma negative 2. And the angle of rotation is 90 degrees. So we now form the lines which means uh, since it is clockwise the object will be rotating this direction this is the directions which means this point of the triangle will move to this point that is the implication since the center of rotation is one unit away from the object the image must also be one unit away from the center of rotation so we have that point here and uh, this point here how many units away so we are going to count here is going to give us one two three four five six seven for your information if it rotates this line must go with this line so this point now will be coming one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six seven so that vertex here will be rotated to this point so we have that point there and uh, this side now will be rotated along this side so we have this side rotated and we have the three points we join we are join this to this this and uh, this um if you are using tracing paper um you can place your paper here draw this image then you now turn it you turn to trace it back this is it you turn then you have your image so this is the object and this is the image so that is that for the first part of the problem now we're to give the coordinates of the corners of the image so these are the corners of the image so the first point here is two comma negative one so we have the coordinates of the corners of the image to be two comma negative one here is two comma five so we have 2,5 and this last point is 5,0. And that is all for the solution of problem one. We then go to problem 
2. For problem 2, plot and join the point negative 2 comma negative 3 negative 1 comma negative 1 negative 2 comma 1 and negative 3 comma negative 1 give the mathematical name of the shape see rotate the shape through 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the point negative 2 comma 3 so we start with a part of the problem negative 2 comma negative 3 this is negative 2 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so this is the point here we mark it out negative 1 comma negative 1 this is x is negative 1 and y is negative 1 we have this point here and the next one is negative 2 comma 1 negative 2 comma 1 this is the point here and the last point is negative 3 comma negative 1 negative 3 comma negative 1 this is the point then we join the points to have the shape so we have the a part of the problem done the second part which is b give the mathematical name of the shape so this is a plane shape and the name of this shape is rhombus because this side is equal to all the sides are equal in short in summary all the sides are equal so we have it as rhombus then the c part rotate the shape through 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the point negative 2 comma 3 negative 2 comma 3 this is negative 2 comma 3 this is the point here so we mark that point out and uh, since it is going anti-clockwise we are going like this so before then we draw a line from the point of rotation to any part of the object so we draw the line then we now get our angle since it is 90 degrees we have it there so which means the image to be formed is going to have its tip here this tip is transferred to this place so it is rotated and we have that point there so the best thing now is because of the nature of this shape now we count one two three four the vertex here is going to be four away one two three four is going to be coming here so this point will be rotated to this point and these two are enough to form our rhombus which forms the image of this object so we come here this is four so we have this line joined here from here to this place from here to this place and finally we have our object and uh, our image here we have the object and we have the image there with this we are done with problem two we've done a b and c so um, this is our c which is the image we are not required to give the vertices of the image and for your information if you are using tracing paper after tracing this you rotate it anti-clockwise see this is how it goes and then you stop and get your vertices for the image so that's all for problem two then we go to problem three for problem three rotate the shape in the graph through 180 degrees about the origin give the coordinates of the point p after rotation and this is the point p on the object and uh, we'll be required to give the coordinates after rotation and since it is at the origin this is the origin here so we create 180 degrees which is a straight line so we have the straight line here and if you look at this now this is one unit away from the object it is going to be one unit away for your information the rotation through 180 degrees can either be anti-clockwise or clockwise you see have the same 
result we are going to demonstrate that later so here now which means this point is coming here but for the purpose of this video we are going to rotate clockwise and uh, it's coming this way if it turns this way if the whole shape turns this is going to be up and this line will be here this top here will form the base so and the top here is three units so from here we have three units and one two three four four units up we can then complete the diagram to get our image so this is going up so we have two units here and here is one unit then we join the rest to form the image so that is the image after rotation about the origin for 180 degrees we told you the direction does not matter whether clockwise or anti-clockwise alternatively from the origin we could make a line here and a line to the next box and uh, that is we could have just have this line which we then rotate along that line is still 180 or the ones we have used whichever option is convenient for you so that by rotation now we can just demonstrate it if you are using tracing paper this is it you can see it's from here it rotates and gets to the final destination that's the image and uh, the points you can see the point when it goes it's here then we that is the p prime we get the coordinates the coordinate of p prime is that is negative 4,5 and that's all for problem 3 we then go to problem 4 for problem 4 describe fully the single transformation that maps diagram a onto diagram b then we have to observe the two shapes this is uh, the object a and this is the image this one maps this onto this if you look at it carefully this is not a reflection it's not a reflection so and uh, also it is not translation then we now look at it as a rotation if you take it as a rotation where is the center what direction and what angle these are the equations we need to answer to verify our claim a solution to the problem if this object moves up if it turns up you see you can see that it is rotation and where do we get the center of rotation the center of rotation cannot be here can it be here no because if it is here now we need to draw a right angle triangle here and uh, i'm very sure it will not oh which means the image is going to start from here if you draw the angle here 90 degrees it means the image is going to start from here then um we move backward if we have it here this is the angle 90 degrees so yes this is the center of rotation because the distance from here to the object is the same from here to the image and the angle of rotation is 90 the direction is anti-clockwise so we we'll demonstrate it for you to see you see yes that's perfect so we bring down our solution as rotation and the center is negative 2,0 so we have it as negative 2,0 the angle of rotation is 90 degrees and the direction is anticlockwise. And that's all for problem four.
Then we go to problem 5. For problem 5, describe fully the single transformation that maps diagram A onto diagram B. Again, we have diagram A here and uh, B. We inspect for reflection, translation, then we now think of rotation because this is not enlargement. So since they are still the same size, um, if we take this as reflection line, this cannot be reflected. No, if it is reflected, this side will be at this side. So this is not reflection, this is not translation. If it is translation, all the vertices must be facing the same direction. So this is not translation. So we look at it as a rotation. And uh, if we look at it as rotation, this x-axis is the line to consider since they are the same distance from both the image and the object. At that point now, the line joining the two objects is this. So we can confirm that now that it is what rotation, then we we'll get the center, and the center is this. So we we'll get this as center, so the center is negative 1,0, negative 1,0. Then we get the angle of rotation. The angle of rotation invariably is 180 degrees because this is a straight line. Then we can then look at the direction. The direction for 180 degrees can either be clockwise or anticlockwise. Because if you look at this now, we rotate. This is clockwise. We still have the image in the appropriate position if we go anti-clockwise it is still the same thing you see it as lapping with the image that is the description of the single transformation that maps diagram a onto b and this is the end of solution to problem five this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and share this video. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on transformation. Until we come your way again, goodbye.